In this video, we're going to look at how to employ the BK-90 bomblet dispenser from the Vigan. Okay, uh, BK-90s. They are a uh, standoff submunition. So basically, you can fire fire them off. They glide using your already your speed and uh, fly over the target. They know where your waypoint is. So like our M3 waypoint or whatever. They disperse over there, and uh, they've got little radar things that sh shoot up. They scan for targets. Once they see a target, they shoot liquid copper, metal, whatever. You know how they work. There's two versions. There's the MJ-1 and MJ-2. And then there's one that runs with both. One is more uh, anti-tank and the other is uh, HE frag, as you yeah. can see under air-to-ground missiles. I've loaded the uh, one we'll... that's got the mix. Yep. Yeah, that's always a good idea. All right. So so tell me again now. If, if I'm... I'm flying towards my target. I release them and they, f they continue to fly towards the target waypoint. Yeah, they glide. Okay. Okay. Yep. So they're, they're not propelled by anything other than your own speed. Okay. So how far but they are, they can maneuver. You get indications of when you're supposed to fire. It? Yeah. So just like everything else in the Vigan, you'll see a line. And once the line gets between the two lines, you're within range. On the radar. On, on the HUD. Okay. There is some coding with this. Oh, good. Let's do that. Let's do okay, because that demonstrates the two effects. Okay, I'll hit, I'll hit the cluster of APCs, and then if you want to hit the cluster of tanks, because there's three modes you can set for the BK90s. One is widespread, one is long spread, and one is compact spread. Okay. Or compact. So, I mean, if you look on the map and you see the tanks. They're, they would be in a widespread, so you can have one BK, or you can have them split up, so it, it covers a, a wide area, or you can have it cover a long area, and then both on top of each other for a compact area. So, like, what I'd be targeting here with the APCs would be compact, and then we'll set yours to wide. Okay. And that's done through a pretty simple line of code, so what we'll need to do is you'll have to make your own uh, right. F10 thing. So, so let's I've got just it. do M3 over the target. And then you put yours in the as middle as you can. Okay. And then just I just name it M3. M3. Okay. Yep. Perfect. Okay, there's first. Now we need our B2 and our B1s. My B2 at the end of the river, if you follow the east, that thin little river, I'm going to have that as my... B2. And you got to put one out as well. Yep. M1 is going to be further to the east following the bigger river. It's going to be the tip to the east of that island. And that will be my B1. Boom. All right, B1, B2, M3. Sweet. Okay, now we just got to load up the cartridge through the, uh, uh, through the knee board. Look for your call sign, not mine. Okay, got it. Okay, now we need to program them. Uh, there's three different options, like I just, like I said earlier. Okay, so I go to tact, input. Yeah, tact, input, 9-2. That's going to be, that's basically for the BK-90. And then the, the subset number is 1, 2, or 3. 1 is long, 2 is wide, 3 is compact. So you'll okay. do two because you want wide. Yep. And I'll do three because they're kind of in the same area. Okay. So it should be nine two two for you. It's nine two two or nine two three for me. Hit okay. LSQ and okay. return it to current pause and output. And that's it. We got that done. To release the BK nineties, you need to be in A and F. Okay. And our weapon selector will be on attack. Just leave it in nav for now, but yeah, you can turn the weapon selector to attack. Okay. And this can also be launched in series or single. Obviously, we want series because they're heavy, and you don't want to rock the boat. Uh, and that's that's pretty much it. I mean, you'll fly over there, 
turn to A and F, flip off the uh, the master arm, and once you're in range, hold down the trigger. The fall last uh, last release light will light up, and that means all your things are gone. Pull away. It's okay. a standoff thing, so you shouldn't even necessarily see the target. For the BK-90, we want to be at uh, 200 meters or above at okay. speed of 0.6 Mach up to 0.9. So obviously, the faster you go, the more standoff you get. So we're going to shoot for 0.9, and if we're short of that, it doesn't matter too much. Uh, we'll, we will need the QFE. Yep. I was just going to get to that. So yeah, let's look for our M3. It'll be B3 on our kneeboard, and that's 1012.6. So we'll just do about half. And uh, it hitting the target or hitting the waypoint is basically dependent on how good your nav is. So if you have, if you've been doing a long mission and your nav is off, you'll miss by however much it is off. So over here, obviously, we it's very short. Shouldn't have to do any corrections or anything, and it should be accurate. But, uh, yeah, you might have to do nav fixes or visual fixes if you're doing longer range missions. flashing yep it should start spreading and then you'll see a line horizontal come in and once that meets meets the two vertical on the outside you're within range oh okay speeds okay i'm kicking in stage three looking a little slow okay, okay and they've met holding it down okay breaking left oh and you got to press this trigger twice by the way for your each okay. set Okay, off left, waypoint, and spectate, because it's really cool. <laughs> God damn. Yeah. <laughs> They're effective. I know some people think these aren't very good tutorials, and they're really not meant to be. They're just a video to kind of show people like me who didn't know anything about the VIG and what it can do and what it's about. I hope you guys learn a little bit. Hope you enjoy it. And we'll talk to you guys next time. See ya. And that's BK90s.